like I'm so excited. Things like fridges and ovens and furniture and... Today is one of those you gotta do five things before you can start doing the thing that you wanna do. So... My little house is full of kayak! And look at this! Guess who that is? Hi everybody! It's a gorgeously sun sunny day and we've had quite a few overcast days so today after probably a month and a bit because I've had pesky Eric I'm gonna be back in the ocean! So I want to take you along with me and I'm going diving with my friend Brian and I've invited Stephen along to ride in a kayak. I just shoved it in the van. So gorgeous. We've seen a few sea lions and some seals in the area. We don't normally see them around the Gulf Islands, but apparently it's because the herring are running through the strait. And I didn't know that. And somebody just told me that just now. Fascinating! Things you learn! Yeah. Ta-da! That sunshine, that means we're going to be able to see underwater! I'm filming you so don't fall over. <laughs> this is our line diving setup. <laughs> it's going to be fucking cool! It's very DIY. Hey, if you can't do Very it, why? Very experimental. The anchor is there! Our dive buoy! Our pack mule! Drunk, you
Oh, do you see like it? My I'm sinuses. My sinuses. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, so good. to see me going underneath or whether my camouflage just makes me invisible. <laughs> Good, you can film me if you want, I'll do it again. Sparkles that he's creating. Well, apparently the her the herring are running, which is why there's sea lions. And Shot. Your head went right behind the sun. 
Hardly. Today is one of those, you gotta do five things before you can start doing the thing that you wanna do. So, one of the things I had to do is empty everything out of the van, tidy up, and get the diesel heater running. Because once the diesel heater runs, I can control the temperature, I can clean up, I can keep things dry, and I can do some varnishing, which needs a certain temperature to cure. <sighs> I have just reinstalled this. The reason this has got some black on it is because I was it got fuel on it and I was just testing to see if that fuel would combust. It kind of did, didn't really, so I feel safer about leaving this here. This pipe used to go through the hole. Now it just goes straight down and outside and eventually I will put uh, heat resistant silicon caulking in the hole. And <coughs> This was the original exhaust pipe that it came with and I've just attached one that is way longer so that it will take fumes further away from... <coughs> there we have it. Nice long exhaust which will reach past and then I'll unsquish this and attach the muffler. The next thing I need to do is reattach the fuel tank and add the little clips that I've got which would hopefully never see the fuel lines from coming undone again. This little clip here will even be able to tighten down enough. No it's too big! Like it doesn't even do any of that. That just comes on and off way too easily. And I don't trust it. Hopefully one of these works as a temporary clamp for my... For my little fuel lines. Ah, oh, this diesel heater, well, I knew they were complicated and finicky beasts, but it's not quite how I expected mine to go. Right, let's cut and measure this. And I just put the fridge where the fridge is gonna go. And my oven in the van! Woo! I kinda got some perspective of what I'm building, what spaces I've got to fill. Yay, it's starting to feel like a house! It has been outside for four or five months. So it's really gross and dirty, but I have a bottle of bleach, some rags, and I'm going to clean it. Using this chair as a height shade. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. That's what we'll be voting next. Oh, this is gonna be so good! And imagine... You're gonna want to set this somehow. Hold that? Yeah. And then this is gonna have like, beautiful back of like... Tongue and groove. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Here, like the back of the chair. There we go. Yeah, that's awesome. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we can put some stiffeners across here anyway. Or I'll better attach this side to the bed frame. And then the same will be on this side. So like, 
You won't ever oh, see. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I see. You won't you ever mean. see it. You'll just see this like beautiful like thin wall. Ew. Yeah. Look at the weather outside right now. Look at this. We're kind of in the clouds. Like, and it's kind of nice because when it's foggy, I can leave my van door open. When it rains, it's a bit more difficult, but yeah. At least it's not snowing. I'd take fog over snow any day. I've been staring at a computer all day and I feel like it is time, overdue time, to get out of the house and go do something with my hands. And I feel like doing that is gonna make me feel better. It's gonna move my body around and not be hunched over. And I get to show you all of the progress that we've been making that has been happening really fast and really hectically so you can catch up and I'm excited about it. <laughs> Somebody just watched one of my YouTube videos and then texted me and was like so tedious and so satisfying. When I'm closer to being finished, I'm totally gonna get some of these because I think they're gonna make the van look amazing. Oh, aren't they beautiful? See if I can measure it and make it the same. <laughs> oh, do you look at that? There's too much stuff in here. Next thing I want to try and do is put this bum board on those two bits of walls. Probably should have done it earlier. Didn't. I'm so excited. I am at the hardware store and I think they have the most beautiful butcher block, butcher block countertop, which I'm gonna go see if I can make it mine. I was wondering if I could get a live edge piece of wood like this beautiful countertop, but I think it is going to be more affordable to get this beautiful piece and maybe my friend will help me install it this weekend. I don't know! It's so exciting! I'll take Making significant progress on the van build is super exciting. I have some trim. I know I'm gonna need more, but this trim will be a good start. And look at this. Woo! Fancy. Arcadia unfinished. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Guess who that is? I 
I've been doing so much construction work at night time that filming has been really difficult. It's been really cloudy, not cloudy. <laughs> I've been using a torch light and so filming has been a little bit difficult. So now that I'm working on it today during the day, I thought I'd give you a little look in to see what I've been doing and tour you through some of the changes that have happened recently. I've built a lot of things. Going away and visiting Amanda was just the inspiration slash clearing of my mind and reinvigorating my passion that I needed. So it really shows and how much work I've produced lately. Is my wetsuit cupboard. It's about that size. I can, my whole body actually fits in here. So it's about that wide. And it'll have an extractor fan vent through the roof up here, which will remove the moisture and keep it nice and dry in there, which will be perfect. And I'm gonna paint it all and seal it with bathroom paint so that when I put my wetsuits in here to dry, it's not gonna mold or anything. It's gonna be nice and beautiful and dry. And here, this is fridge countertop space is going here, um, fridge underneath, and then on top will be my cubic mini on top of this space. I've got some fireboard, concrete board here, which will be going here and here. I have been so lucky to scrounge slash be gifted leftovers from people's builds. So the concrete board is another piece. All of the plywood has been another gift, which has been really, really amazing. Having extra stuff that people don't want. Even this wall, this floor, this is oak flooring, which I've used as wood paneling up here. That was a gift. I couldn't have done it without all of you and all of the gifts and all your support, whether you're supporting by watching, whether you're supporting by being part of my Patreon, so you can see, you will have seen all of this already, maybe a month ago. Um, so yeah, thank you all for being here and thanks for the, thanks friends for your help and support. And here is all my dinette. So this is where I'm gonna have my workspace how about a sit back here got some cushy cushions on these seats the table I'm gonna take the lagoon lagoon mount swing table that will go in here yeah so nice to be able to have dinner for two yay <laughs> Bluetooth speakers connected I forgot and somebody's story started playing in my pocket and I just hear out of my van I like to eat fermented foods every day <laughs> heck is going on <laughs> So I thought before I continue chopping wood that I would take my tape measure and just check how wide my butcher block is. <laughs> you photo bombing. Before I keep building so that I build it the right size. Ooh, that's nice. My current framing is 20, 20 and three quarters. Yeah, the oven, if, even if it's not pressed up against the wall, is only just 25. Amanda, can I ask your advice? So, my oven here is about 25 inches wide, here, even if it's not super flush against the wall. That's 25, what? 24 and a half. Yeah. My butcher block is 25 and a half wide. Yeah. Do I make the counter cup tops come all the way out to here? Okay, are you gonna have a shelf at the back of your countertop? Probably. Then keep it as wide as you can. Like why, why, 
why make the surface smaller? Just round the edge so you don't. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. Right? Part of the countertop can come over the frame. Yes. Right? And a yes. lot of people do have an overhang on their countertop. I think Because then have it's an easier to stand closer to it if your knees have somewhere to go. Yeah. And the thing is, is I doubt you're likely to regret having more counter space <laughs> no. than less. No. Right? So. This is why you have van friends. So that. <laughs> You can ask silly questions and get advice. That and be reminded that you don't have to do what everyone else does because you're not like everyone else. If you no. want to be like everyone else, let's move into a house. I don't want to move into a house. <laughs> Houses drive me crazy. Okay, countertops are allowed to have an overhang so my framing can be smaller. Yes. Yeah, you can just set the <sighs> framing and deal with the decision of the countertop when the time comes to cut or not cut it. Yes. But also, just because what most people do in kitchens, I've been in a lot of kitchens where the design freaking sucks and I would never want that to be my kitchen. So just because somebody paid a bunch of money to make it happen in a house doesn't mean it was a good design. Thank you. Too I awesome. really appreciate you. <laughs> There's a wild Amanda filming a paddleboard unboxing. I can't wait. My paddleboard's currently got a hole in it, so I need to repair it, but I also have a kayak. So I think her and I are gonna go kayak slash paddleboarding on a lake, maybe this evening. And look at this bloody sunset. <sighs> I'm gonna have to keep this window clean from the outside so that when I'm filming in here, I can show you how freaking gorgeous it is. Gorgeous it is. Now I have a bit of building here to finish off for this countertop support because tomorrow I have a friend coming to help me cut, fit, install this. And I'm thrilled and super excited and nervous and I just have so many feelings all at once, so. Let's get some building done and then we should be ready for tomorrow. The progress I'm making is mind blowing. It's been it taken so long to get the first parts moving that to get this far so quickly has been a relief. And it's the structure and framework for me then to do the little stuff, the more fiddly complicated things which will just finish and make the space livable and usable and the storage solutions and all of that stuff. It's gonna be so cool. Yay! It just kind of hit me. This is my new home. Look, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> I'm such an egg. Anyway. This sink. Look at this beautiful thing. This came out of my previous van build and I'm so stoked that I kept it because it's beautiful and huge. Clothes, bed, dinette. It's gonna be where I'm gonna be working. Yay, editing all these videos in future. Oh, this space is incredible. Like, I'm so thrilled. I think this is feeling more and more like my home and I'm so freaking proud to have come this far and built it so far, so much. Like, this was an empty shell and now it actually has the makings, the makings of a home. Thanks so much for watching. This episode was a super exciting one and made lots of progress on the step van. Next week's episode is even more exciting. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the like button and the big red subscribe button. Your support means the world to me. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.